This is solution for number 23 of chapter 11. At the Olympic level of competition, even the smallest factors can make the difference between winning and losing. For example, Pelton has shown that Olympic marksmen shoot much better if they fire between heartbeats rather than squeezing the trigger during a heartbeat. The small vibration caused by heartbeats seems to be sufficient to affect the marksman's aim. The following hypothetical data demonstrates this phenomenon. A sample of eight Olympic marksmen fires a series of rounds while a researcher records heartbeats. For each marksman, a score is recorded for shots fired during heartbeats and for shots fired between heartbeats. Do these data indicate a significant difference? Test with alpha set of 0 0.05. So let's articulate our null and research hypothesis. So the null is going to say there is no difference in accuracy between shots fired during versus between heartbeats. And the notation would read that the mu difference is equal to zero. The alternative or research hypothesis would state there is a difference in accuracy between shots fired during versus between heartbeats. And the notation would read, the mu difference is not equal to zero. Next, let's identify what our critical t value is to conduct this test. So we're going to need our, our sample size and the alpha level and the fact that we've been told to test at a, and I'm noticing it doesn't indicate whether it's one or two tail test, so we will um, use a default of two tail test because you have to have great justification to test a hypothesis at a one tailed level because one tail tests are always easier to pass. So we will implement a two tail test for this example. So we need to identify our degrees of freedom, which is n minus 1. That's equal to 8 minus 1 is 7. And we're going to use our t test or t table to determine our critical t. So we see here that given our degrees of freedom equal to 6, or excuse me, 7, and our Alpha is set at 0 0.05, and we're going to implement two-tailed test. Our critical T is equal to 2.365. All right, so I've drawn a graph and identified our critical T and shaded in the critical region. Next, we are going to calculate our average difference, so our mean difference. equal to the sum of d over n and we need to calculate our d values again d is equal to x2 minus x1 so the heartbeats will be considered x2 this is x1 so our d is calculated by calculating the difference so in your calculator go ahead and compute the difference between 98 minus 93 and we get a value equal to 5. 94 minus 90 we get 4. 96 minus 95 1. 91 minus 92 negative 1. 97 minus 95 2. 97 minus 91 would give us 6. 95 minus 92, 3, and 97 minus 93 is equal to 4. So our mean difference is equal to 24 over 8 is equal to 3. 
Now we need to calculate our SS. Our SS is equal to the sum of D squared minus the sum of D squared over N. We can replace the variables we know. We know the sum of D, and we just calculated that. It's 24. We're going to square that. We know N. That's equal to 8. So we just need to calculate our D squared. So we'll do that here. So 5 squared is 25. 4 squared is 16. 1 squared, 1. Negative 1 squared, 1. 2 squared is 4. 6 squared, 36. 3 squared, 9. 4 squared, 16. So now in your calculator, take the summation of these D values that have been squared, and we should get 108. So in your calculator, go ahead and take 24 and square it. So we have SS is equal to 108 minus 24 squared divided by 8 gives us 72. And now subtract 72 from 108 and we get 36. So for SS is equal to, whoops, 36. So our variance then is equal to SS over N minus 1. SS is equal to 36, and our N is equal to 8, so N minus 1 is 7. So 36 divided by 7 gives us a variance of 5.14. The variance now enables us to calculate our estimated standard error of the mean difference, which is the square root of our variance over n. So we have the square root of 5.14 over n, which is equal to 8, and we're going to take the square root of that, and we get a value equal to 0 0.80. And now we have everything we need to calculate our t-statistic. So we're in our t-statistic equation here, so it's the sample mean difference minus the mu um, difference divided by estimated standard error of the mean difference. We can replace variables, so our calculated sample mean difference was equal to 3, and the hypothesized mu difference is 0, and our estimated standard error of the mean difference, which we just calculated, was equal to 0.8. And now we can calculate our t value. We take 3 minus 0 is 3 divided by 0.8, and we get a t value equal to 3.75 and we look back at our graph and conclude that it falls in the critical region so we're going to reject the null hypothesis so we would state that we reject the null and the results indicate that there is a difference in accuracy between shots fired during versus between heartbeats. We conducted a t-test with degrees of freedom equal to 7. Our t-statistic was equal to 3.75, and the probability of obtaining that value is less than a 5% chance if the null is true.